It's the most magical time of the year. What's so magical about it? Lights, decorations, holiday baking, gift giving, making cards, sending those to friends, peppermint mochas, Once Upon a Christmas, that album by Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. Ooh, watching A Christmas Vacation, watching A Christmas Carol. I ordered the Guthrie one, so I'm gonna need to see a staged version of A Christmas Carol despite the pandemic. So excited and just everything. That doesn't sound magical. It sounds busy and expensive. shopping. I'm hoping we can find no mugs, but maybe they sold out. Here, put the camera on me. You're eating mango-y stuff. Is mango -y stuff Christmassy? No, it's tropical, because I'd rather be on the beach than in a frozen winter wonderland. I meant to marry a Clark, and I think I ended up with a Grinch. And by Clark, I mean Clark Griswold. Everybody come out quick, look at the lights! Doing my first bit of Christmas shopping today. Chris and I are. I'm super excited. There are a couple of mugs that the Pottery Barn has that I really, really want. So I hope they have them in stock. How long do we have to be in it? I've wanted these for two years now. Melissa, do you feel Christmas cheer is in the air? Yes, because now I have my new mugs that I've wanted for two years. So, so far, so good. Yes, I think so. Are we gonna be able to find more Christmas cheer? I hope so. I was just thinking about where are we going to get the gingerbread houses. Here's here's a thought about gingerbread houses. It doesn't matter which ones you get. They never work and they're just going to fall down and it's going to be a big sticky mess. That's what I think. Then maybe we could try doing like homemade gingerbread houses too. Okay, yeah, okay. you're getting a little really homemade. So we would have to make the gingerbread like gingerbread blocks and stuff like that. I'm just saying maybe, I'm not saying for sure. I probably won't do it this year because I've got class and I don't think I have time. Do you know what this trail makes me think of? What? Hansel and Gretel. Do you know what Hansel and Gretel makes me think of? Death? Candy houses, like gingerbread houses. Oh, well that's better than death. <laughs> Actually, I just thought what Hansel and Gretel makes me think about is like cooking little kids. <laughs> and that is not Christmas cheer to me, okay? <laughs> Well, I don't think about that part. I think about the candy house. So you always... I blocked everything past the candy house. You don't pay attention to the bad things <laughs> and going on in this world. That's why I need you. <laughs> I walk into so many problems. That lady was a freak. There's nothing <laughs> joyous and Christmas cheerful about that. I went and I found surprises. And I hope you don't mind that I found these things without you. But I, I was just going to go to... Whole Foods, because I really wanted candy canes for our gnomes, right? And then I found these gingerbread house kits that are made in Vancouver, BC. Okay, wait. One for you, one for me. And on my way to Whole Foods, I noticed, have you noticed that Purdy's chocolate shop? Well, it's a Canadian chocolate shop. So I picked up this. I got the last one of these, which is why I had to get one of these. So what am I excited about? Oh, hold on, I of... didn't finish. And then these, because these also like support the children's hospital. $2 from the sale of this chocolate bar supports your local children's hospital. So I was really excited about that. So that's it? Yeah. That is nice. Thank you. This, so the chocolate is what I was excited about. You don't get to have any. So what am I excited about? There's no donuts? A lot of peppermint. You know I'm not a fan of peppermint. You're not a fan of peppermint, but I know who somebody who okay. is. Okay, so I guess you thought maybe I'd be happy because you're happy. And that is how it works. The, the wife's happy and I'm happy, so yeah. All right, you ready? Melissa thinks doing a gingerbread house is gonna bring about holiday cheer. I know I seem like a big old Scrooge, but a grumpy grump. Lots like a duck. 
talks like a dog. Must be a dog. Melissa, how do you feel that your gingerbread house turned out? I think it's the best ever gingerbread house I've done. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Do you think that making this gingerbread house has brought about holiday cheer? Yes, and a sense of accomplishment. Now, it's not amazing by other people's standards more than likely, but it's the best I've ever done. How did this year's gingerbread experience go for you? It was miserable as always. You didn't like making your gingerbread house? I detested it. I disliked it. I had a hell of a time. What didn't you like about making your gingerbread house? Because <sighs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Do you follow the directions? You know what? I improvised and I was able to create something. <laughs> Why did you improvise? Melissa, I improvised. Did it increase your holiday joy making the gingerbread house? My holiday joy? Mm -hmm. No, I'm agitated. No present for anybody now. This is a very special day that might get you into the holiday cheer. It's the first time since we've moved to Canada that we have to get gasoline. Why would I need to get into the holiday cheer? I'm the holiday cheery one. I thought you were gonna ask me, what the hell does this have to do with holiday cheer? <laughs> You're the Scrooge. I'm happy that I didn't have to spend money every week buying gasoline. So that kind of puts me in the holiday cheer. Okay, well, I guess it'll put me in a little holiday cheer and that that's more money for a gift buy. But gift buying is then going to be spent money. <sighs> that would be a pretty kick-ass Christmas tree, wouldn't it? It's a bit mossy. So it doesn't meet your standards for holiday cheer? Mm, no, it's neat looking, but not holiday looking. Do you think there are Christmas gnomes living in that spot? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what about? I think there's definitely a creature living in there. I don't know about a Christmas gnome though. You sure? Well, I would think Christmas gnomes would find snowy places to come from. So you see those trees over there? Perfect Christmas trees. Those look like Christmas trees, yes. So we just need to find some with lights on them, right? Yes. Okay, so I gotta say, I don't know, maybe being around those pine trees got me into the, you know, I think we need to buy a little tree. Like really? A little fake I was just tree. gonna ask you that, but then you didn't stop talking. I think we need to buy a little fake tree. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. A little one. Does that excite you? Yes. Although then, can we get ornaments to put on a little tree? Okay, you're going a little farther. Here's a simple fact. Melissa could have bought a little tree. It's not like, oh, Chris says no. He controls the purse strings. That's not how it works. No, but we consult each other on like bigger purchases. But I don't think that you think that you can buy a little tree. Well, I just say I think I feel bad about it because it's like, well, what if we end up moving back to the States? And if we do, there's no way we're fitting the tree into our truck. So then what do we do with it? Well, it's, you know what? We'll figure that out. We can ship things. You need a Christmas tree. I love this guy. It smells like Christmas. Mm. Like this is the one I had my eye on. Do you think that'll be good? That's the Christmas tree you want? Mm -hmm. Just a little one. That's cute. Let's check out. I've been looking 
at this tree online for like two days and going, oh, I think that's one. I'm not sure if that's one. I think that's one. I'm not sure if that's one. And then I debated about ordering it online and I was like, well, I should just go and see. And it's exactly what I hoped it would be. Good job. So I'm gonna go on a bike ride and see if I can find some holiday cheer. A bike ride. to Christmas lights, palm trees, that might get me in the holiday spirit. So I'm not against holidays here, I just think sometimes the holidays get a little stressful. So I'm going to try to do a better job this season. So happy fucking holidays. Whew, I gotta work on him yet. Happy holidays everyone. Thanks so much for watching The Cremel Show. Be sure you take a moment and like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you keep up with the latest of The Cremel Show.